Hello friend, this question is from the part test 2. Circuit name is analog circuit, topic name is diode circuit and analysis is the one marks problem. So in the circuit you can see that uh, it's a Gina diode based one circuit is given to us. Question says that we have one DC voltmeter deflection coil which, which reads 25 volt in the full scale which can maximum read 25 volt in the full scale. And the current across is across this voltmeter could be maximum flown to 0.2 milli ampere and we have uh, uh, attached one Gina diode in parallel with this combination of 20 volt just to prevent any overloading of the current because we don't want our deflection coil to be burned out so it, for the prevention we have the Gina diode which has uh, this uh, quality that if the input supply is greater than 25 volt it will, it will conduct to 20 volt it will fix maintain the voltage 20 volt across this uh, voltmeter along with R2 the voltmeter has a resistance of 560 ohm okay so question says that calculate the difference between R2 minus R1 that is we need to calculate the question is pretty much clear so you can see that the okay so input is uh, should be greater than 25 volt let's take the limiting case and consider the input as a 25 volt now if the voltage across G0 dot will be fixed at a 20 volt so my let's name this node as a V0 so my V0 will be always be 20 volt because V0 will be the voltage across G0 diode that is going to fix at 20 volt so if the voltage across G0 diode is fixed and uh, across this voltmeter branch the current is already given in series current remains same so I can write it down the equation as V0 is equal to 0.2 milli multiplied by R2 plus RM right so we can uh, see that I also know the value of RM. RM is also given as a 560 ohms and this is milliampere okay and my V0 is also defined to me as a 20 volt so we have all the knowns here so just 20 upon 0.2 into 10 raised to power minus 3 upon R2 plus 560 and I will get the value of R2 as 99.44k I have very easily calculated the uh, re resistance of R2 once I have calculated the R2 resistance now I, let's see across the R1 input voltage is 25 because we are taking the limiting case okay and I am assuming that my entire current is going to the voltmeter okay that is that's how I, that's how I want to design that general current should be zero so under that case you can see that my 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 will be current across R1 the same current which is flowing to the motor which is flowing to the voltmeter so 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 is equal to Vs minus Vz upon R1 where Vs is my supply voltage 25 Vz is at 20 volt so it will be 25 minus 20 by R1 or my R1 will be equal to 5 upon 0.2 5 upon 0 0.2 into 10 to the power minus 3 which is nothing but 25 kilo ohm so value of R2 is coming out as a 99.44 kilo ohm R1 is 25 kilo ohm what, uh, what we need to calculate is R1 minus R2 minus R1 so it is like R2 minus R1 will be 99.44 minus 25 which is nothing but 74.44 kilo ohm so R2 minus R1 will be 74.44 kilo ohm. Okay, that will be the answer of this question. Thank you.